comedogenic. Uh, uh, uh. Girl! Forgive me, father, but I gotta take a chance. Oh, I'm already gone, so just pray for me. Hey fam fam, welcome back up with the fantastic walk up to another foundation test video. In this video actually, we're not just reviewing the foundation, we're also going to be reviewing the concealer that was released with this foundation, okay? And I'm talking about the new L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation, all right? And also the L'Oreal Infallible more than concealer, concealer okay so if you yet to subscribe if you have to join the fan bam subscribe down below please turn on the notification join the fan bam comment down below when you've done so with hashtag fan bam so i can know you've joined the family and i can properly welcome you to this family over here all right without further ado let's jump straight into this video i've got my notes here once again okay so if you look see me looking down i'm not looking down at you i'm looking up to you okay i'm just looking down at my note all right so this foundation retails for 14.99 in the us 26.99 here in australia in chemist warehouse and 31.95 in target and priceline and also retails for 20 dollar 22 australian dollars in on beauty experts the website that's where i got this foundation from and in the uk you can buy it for 10 dollar 99 all right i'll talk about the concealer a little bit later so let's just go ahead and start applying this while i tell you guys the rest of the specs of this foundation okay so this foundation apparently comes in 30 shades i picked up the shade 525 deep golden this 525 golden seemed much more closer to my skin tone and also i picked it up because it has the word golden in it so i hope it's true to it i mean when i kind of hold it up it yeah so so the primer i'm using in today's video is the rimmel fix and perfect makeup primer this is more of a moisturizing primer it actually does have a little a little bit of a long Longevity to it as well, but not as much as my other primers like the NYX can stop and stop primer and the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Primer. So this one is just for like extra moisturization. So with this shade right here, there's actually about four other shades after this shade, and that is 530 Deep Ember, 535 Espresso, 540 Mahogany, and 545 Ebony as well. The last shade here in Australia is Ember, and so they skipped um this shade right here which is unfortunate but the website where i got it from i'll put the link down below this video is not sponsored by them i believe they do have more shades than that i think they do so i'm gonna link that down below for you australian babes okay it comes in a glass bottle and it also has a pump and this is 30 mil or 1.0 fluid ounce and it has a 12 month shelf life Ooh, and let's just pump out two pumps right there and this is the shade 525 deep golden as you can see it has a very very runny consistency this brand is claiming for this foundation to be long wearing like 24 hour long wearing foundation it's a medium to full beautiful coverage foundation they say it's gonna absorb oil and they say it's sweat water and transfer resistance and they say it stays true to color it's non comedogenic and it has spf and they also claim for it to be suitable with all skin type okay they said to apply with your fingers or brush or your beauty sponge it feels thick but like fluidy thick can even apply it my finger it feels really nice on the face it's a bit scented it smells like some some kind of perfume there's fragrance to it but it's not like overpowering wow that blended really nicely and easily do you see that whoa that is so easy to blend and look at i love the way that looks the shade is actually nice that is this is a really nice whoa i just went extra this is a Mm, I love the way this looks. Am I tripping? Hang on. That looks really nice and natural on the skin. And it feels lightweight as well. Whoa. Love that. Oh, my sponge has gone bigger. Let me use a sponge to apply it up here. I mean, I, I did just use two pumps on this side, okay? Ooh, love that. Let me apply the same two pumps on this side and use a sponge. Oh my God. It even applies beautifully with a sponge love this it feels really nice on the skin it feels really lightweight it looks really nice and natural a little bit radiant as well the shade however is looking a little bit just a tiny little bit it's it's, it's not a perfect match okay it's not a perfect match but it's good i don't mind this I'm just gonna button my shirt okay so let's go in with the concealer where is it so as i said this is the infallible modern concealer and i picked up the shade 338 honey i picked, I picked this up because it seemed like something that i would use 
use to highlight and also to conceal. There's about six or so shades after this shade online. There's limited shade available in Australia, of course, but in the US, you've got abundance of it. And I think in the UK, there might be all of it or a little bit less. I'm not really quite sure, but it does retail for $12.99 in the US, $24.99 in Chemist Warehouse. I bought this on ASOS actually for $20, okay? And in the UK, it's about $9.99 pounds. It comes in 25 shades, all right? It comes in this tube with a doe foot. Oh, yes, it's a big doe foot applicator. I love big doe foot applicators. And by the way, the size of this concealer is like the, the concealer is kind of like more girthy. <laughs> Rotund. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Compared to other concealers, like I'm talking about the width. Actually, it's very close to the... Okay, it's a little bit bigger than the ColourPop. It's like the size of the Makeup Revolution concealer. Oh, this one's actually even bigger. How many mil is this? I don't know how many mil this is. Already. It's not showing me. Where is it? Where is the me? The me, Leo, me. Oh, 11 mils. It's in 11 mil. It's 11 mils, okay? So they claim for this concealer to be long wearing. 20, they say up to 24 hour wear. They say it's full coverage, maximum coverage in one stroke. Will cover under eye circle acne scars and discoloration i laugh when i see these kind of claims because i am very very um i like to hold these brands up to that claim so i'm very I don't know what the word is. I'm very dis. They say we'll give you a flawless matte finish, conceals imperfections, it's waterproof, transfer resistance, and won't fade. It is non-greasy, and they say a little bit goes a long way. They said to apply directly on imperfections and blend with fingers or brush or blender and apply in triangle under the eye to best conceal dark circles. That's all they said about this concealer. This also have a scent to it. it smells like a fondant. You know that I used to cover cake? So this is 338 honey. Okay. They say a little bit goes a long way, so I should have done a little bit, but my name is Esther. I like this doe foot applicator. You know what? I would love it if a brand comes out with a concealer. Because you know I've been telling you babes, I think I have. I've been telling you babes that my favorite, favorite packaging ever is a tube packaging like this. So you, because it can squeeze out the product, but also when it's in a tube packaging and it comes with a pump, that's just amazing. But, but think about this. If a brand can come out with a concealer or a foundation that's in a tube packaging, but still has a doe foot applicator. Girl! The product has to be good as well. Maybe if I collaborate with a brand or my own brand, if I bring out a product, that would be the package. Cause that's my ultimate all time favorite packaging. Anyway, I don't know why, but I just thought to say that. Oh, this dries down quick actually. <laughs> it dries down a little bit matte. Okay, let me try blending it with a brush. This is that foundation brush. Okay, blends nicely with a brush. Blends nicely with a sponge and they say finger in there. Let's use a finger. I mean, I wouldn't really use my finger for this, but hmm, the coverage is still staying there with the finger too. That's nice. Okay, love that. It dries down matte, but not like slap your face matte, kind of like a semi matte. Okay, so it's still easy to blend, even though I left it under my eyes for like a few, uh, almost a minute. <laughs> it's still easy to blend. I love that. Oh my God, what kind of feeling or uh, movement did I just make? I mean, you see this, right? Do you see this? I like this finish right here, literally. They say it's a matte finish. It's not matte whatsoever, so I disagree with that. Hmm. Okay, so don't do that. <laughs> let's set it and then let's see if it's still gonna do that, okay? Let me see the foundation actually. Oh. <gasps> the foundation doesn't really do that. Yes. I mean, you can see it a little bit, but it's not as much as that Too Faced Perfect whatever foundation. Mm, love that. Oh, I'm liking, not liking, I'm loving this foundation so far. The foundation and the concealer. Loving it. And it does cover my under eye circles. I mean, I can still see my dip. I wish it could fill in my dip, but it didn't fill in my dip. But everything else look good okay and it feels lightweight as well like i can't feel it and it has a little bit of a radiant finish to it they say it's a matte finish so i completely disagree with that i'm gonna go ahead and use sasha buttercup a little bit grab that and put see the excess just a little bit i don't want to interfere with the longevity claim of the concealer itself okay so literally just the dust of it oh. mm. love that Okay, there we go. So basically, I didn't really set the foundation itself with her powder, just so you know, okay? And I'm not gonna use a setting spray today, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do the rest of the things that we do to our face. Let me go ahead and bronze. Let me just show you. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Instant instant Warmth Bronzer. Let's just start calling it Fenty Beauty Bronzer for now, okay? I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in the shade Mokamami. If you haven't seen my review on that, check it out, check it out, okay? 
I'm also gonna use it as a first blush. I'm going to pick up my sewing machine today and I'm so excited. So excited to go back into learning how to sew. Runs up my nose. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter. Kilowatt, what, what, what? In a shade, Moscow Mew. And put this in my inner corner. Oh my God. All right, so here we go. This is the finished look. I really love the way this foundation and the concealer is sitting on my face, but let's talk about the foundation first. They say it's a full coverage foundation. I believe it's more of a medium coverage foundation, but you can build it up to a full coverage. And the concealer, what did they actually say about the concealer? They say it's full coverage as well. It's a medium coverage concealer, but it's beautiful. I haven't added any mascara on my lower lash line, but I will in a second. <laughs> Let me do that now. So I just had a little bit of a mishap here. Let's just ignore that. But anyway, what was I saying? I believe I was saying that I really like the way this foundation looks on my face. I love the way, the fact that it looks really nice and natural and it feels really nice and lightweight. It is, it has gone a little bit matte, but not like slap your face matte. And I didn't settle with a powder at all. So it dried down really, really nicely. I do believe it might settle into my smile line a little bit later because I can see a little bit of it forming right here. And with the concealer, I love the way the concealer looks on my face as well. And I believe I picked up the perfect shade for my face, especially to my this foundation as well actually the foundation as well has kind of matched my skin tone a little bit better compared to earlier even though it wasn't really terrible earlier now back to the concealer it's not looking cakey whatsoever it's looking nice and natural and healthy and you know it's just healthy looking my face is healthy looking right now i am going to take a video of what my face looks like in the daylight and i'll overlay it now so you can see what my face looks like in the daylight it's probably going to look really nice but i'll talk about that when i come back a little bit later so i finished applying my foundation and the concealer and everything around 11 o'clock actually a little bit before that but let let's just say 11 o'clock okay so i'm gonna do a few hours of wear test and i will come back and talk to you and show you guys what my face is looking like later on oh stay tuned hey fam fam welcome back i mean i should be saying welcome back to me because y'all never left anyway so i am back the time right now is a road it's currently 7 36 7 36 p.m so it's been eight and a half hours later and this is what my face is looking like babes Fem Bam, I, I love this foundation, okay? I just love the way my face has looked throughout the day, okay? The way it's looked on my Insta stories, the way it looked in daylight. I even took a flash photo with it and it looks so bomb, okay? I love this foundation, all right? I haven't blocked my face at all all day. I haven't really touched it. When it was itchy, I was kind of dabbing the side of my nose right here and I thought the foundation was gonna lift off because I could see a bit of color on my finger, but it didn't lift off my nose, so that's fantastic. But I feel like it might lift up once I've kind of dabbed it a bit you know let's go ahead and blot now i've got my mini mouse blotting sheet right here okay obviously i've got a bit of shine so my face is not matte the foundation and the concealer still looks good though okay let's see if it lifted up oh it didn't i can still see a little bit of my skin but remember this morning we're sitting on a medium coverage Ooh. Ah! look at my face hey baby fine Yes, I'm wearing a dressing gown. Yes, I just made this. I'm so excited. I told you guys on Insta story today, I made two outfits, two clothes, one full outfit and a dressing gown. And it looks so good. Ah, oh, looks so good. Okay, this is it. We've blotted. There was obviously shine sitting under, under the foundation, but my face still looks really good. I don't even feel like I need to powder it. It is transfer resistance in terms of like when I touch it, the foundation does not lift off my face, which is fantastic. And what else? It's nicely long wearing even on my oily combination skin all right so with that being said who would i recommend it to normal skin your skin is going to love you for this dry skin your skin will appreciate you for this oily combination skin your skin will just Mwah. kiss you all day for it and oily skin your skin will also appreciate you for it all right i am gonna try it out with my nyx 10 stop moon stop primer to see if it's going to kind of make it more matte and whatnot throughout the day and not as shiny at the end of the day even though it wasn't really as shiny okay and in terms of the concealer girl i don't even say anything else about the concealer i absolutely love love the concealer i look like i've been drinking water okay the main condo it does have a fragrance smell so if you're very sensitive to fragrance smell i i'd say stay away from it so maybe go into the store pump it back in your hand and just kind of smell it and see if you can tolerate it all right it's not as bad for me not to use it compared to that cover girl was it cover girl i think it was cover girl foundation i tried a while ago that smell really really bothered me but this one is not as bad i always put my foundation shade references in, in the description box of all my videos now okay but i did swatch a few foundations 
foundation shades for you guys to see all right so right here is the l'oreal infallible fresh wear foundation in the shade five to five deep golden on the bottle it says 365 deep golden so maybe that's uk name because the website where i bought it from was a uk website this is the lancome tenta doll foundation in the shade 12 i don't know what the corresponding shade in the us is so they're very close this is the revlon for already candid foundation in the shade 540 walnut and this is the color pop no filter foundation in the shade 105 deep dark now all these foundation shades they work perfectly on me especially once it's blended out so that's all i've got to say about this foundation and the concealer i didn't swatch the concealer i should have done that earlier because i actually swatched this and then let it dry and then blended it a little bit so that way it can look like how it would look on my face but this shade looks like the huda beauty concealer shade to me and i use the shade peanut butter the huda beauty is a bit lighter if you are my shade in most foundation shades you will like the shade 338 honey in the infallible more than concealer concealer shade okay all right so that's all i've got to say about this concealer and foundation let me know in the comment section down below if you've already tried these two products out and if you're interested in trying them out thank you so much for watching babes i hope you enjoyed this foundation test and concealer review all in one let me know in the comment section down below what you think thank you so much for watching once again and as always whatever you do remember to love yourself and i'll see you babes in my very next video bye, -bye. i don't think i joined my lace properly today anyway whatever Commod commodogenic uh, uh, uh. there was lipstick on my teeth are you kidding oh oh no oh kidding are you kidding me are you kidding me Twelve, one, two, three. Twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's been eight and a half hours. <laughs> Girl, I even took a flash um, photo. I, I even took a flash photo. I even took. I even took a. I can't speak. I, I, I took a what? I took a flash photo. I forgot to mention that it didn't settle into my smile line. It didn't settle into my smile line.